Hi, I'm Jeremiah with Point Monitor, and today I'm going to be showing you how an access control system works. An access control door has four main components to it. It has a electric lock, a request to exit sensor, door position sensor, also called a door contact, and then a card reader. A card reader does not actually run back directly to the electronic lock. The card reader runs back to the access control controller, just like everything does. But the card reader basically reads a electronic fob or key card such as this. Now this will transmit its ID to the card reader and then the card reader will send that data to the controller and the controller will make the determination whether or not to grant access to that card holder. Now this does not have a battery. This card reader is powered and it has a powered copper coil inside of it as well with the same resonant frequency as this card. When this card comes within range of the card reader, the card reader actually powers the card and in turn the card will then send its signal to the reader, send its identification to the reader, and then the reader will send that to be authenticated and then the access controller will unlock the door. So I'm gonna get this close enough for the uh, resonant frequency to reach the card. And then you can see the LED turn green, indicating that access was granted. You can see the lock retract there. So then we have the electric lock. In this case, this is an electrified crash bar. So when it receives voltage, it's going to retract automatically to let someone come in from the outside. Now this is uh, what you call a fail secure lock. So it doesn't require power to be locked. It only requires power to unlock. And it also has mechanical egress. So in the event that the entire system goes offline, you're not stuck inside your building, you can simply push and mechanically it will let you out. Other common locks are an electric strike, which is installed on the door frame or a magnetic lock, which would be installed up at the top. A request exit sensor can be installed to notify the software that someone is leaving. Additionally, a request exit sensor can be provided to actually perform an unlock of the door so somebody can leave freely if the lock doesn't allow mechanical egress, such as this one. So we've talked about the card reader, the lock, door contact and the request to exit sensor. Finally, I want to show you the door controller, the lock power supply, and the access control database software. So this is what you would call an access controller or an access control panel. This is the decision maker of the operation. So all of the card readers run directly back to this. This is actually a four door controller, so it supports four separate doors with four separate card readers. But all the card readers run back to here the locks come out of here, the door contacts and the request to exit sensors wire back to here as well. This keeps a local copy of the database so that if internet connection was ever lost or it was unable to get the latest database from whatever server is managing this, it stores a local copy of the card holders so that people can continue to use the system. It is also battery backed up as well in the event of a power loss. If the access control panel doesn't have sufficient voltage or amperage to control the locks out in the field, then we actually wire it back to this guy right here, which is a auxiliary 12 or 24 volt power supply, which supports two and a half amps per output, which is usually more than sufficient for most of our locks. And so it basically just gets a input from this system a dry contact input along the top and then uh, along the bottom we have our lock outputs to the field. This is also battery backed up as well. So the door controller usually has a network connection which allows it to communicate with the database server which more often than not is in the cloud and that is what I will show you next. Users can access their access control database most easily through a cloud-based portal such as this. They can access it on their PC, Mac, or their phone, iPhone or Android, and it gives them access to all the features they would need to manage their access control system. So they are able to add and delete card holders, the access levels for those card holders, when they can and cannot enter the building. They're able to view events, pull reports, 
uh, lock and unlock doors on the fly in real time, as well as schedule actions for future events and modify door unlock schedules as well. So that is a basic overview of how an access control system works. An access control system is a great option for property owners to keep the wrong people out and allow the right people in without having to manage physical keys.